Hello folks, and it's me, I'm Mika, I'm back, and this is Let's Play uh, Marvel Avengers Alliance. This is recorded on the 24th of May, and I'm going to do that from now on, so uh, that's one thing I'm going to do from now on, is tell people when episodes are being recorded, so you guys don't bother me about it too much. Anyways, um, some new party members, I guess? Um, uh, let's look at some of the profiles. There's Joseph right here. Um, you need to upgrade your uniform, Joseph. Seriously. <laughs> You're not gonna stay. I, I, the vibra vibra trum uh, trum bash is cool and all, but unless you upgrade your uniform, you're gonna have trouble later. But I think he has he has uh, plenty of uniforms anyways, and he, look at all the heroes he has. Oh, he's a bit of a veteran. Veteran, yeah. And Arajan. No, no, no. Um, anyone else? Uh, Antonio, Toby, we've seen. Uh, did Kurt request himself to be on? I don't know. Uh, I think Logan is new. Um, lots of heroes. He's also got Spider Woman. Interesting. Um, ah, you're new. Uh, However, Agent Blank, um, you can't, uh, uh well, the th thing is, um, um, I think, uh, he or she is, uh, Japanese, her name, is, his or her name is Mitsuhikari, you know, I can read Hiragana a little bit, but, yeah, that's, that's fine, and I actually went to her channel to actually look at, ah, I think Chris is the one who requested I, I show his profile, um, Agent Bryant, Got his um, Dar Suppressor and the Besto minigun, very good. He went for and grabbed his uh, free copy of the X-Play Exploiter, which is also very good. And is Jose new? Jose, can you see? Agent Zero. And we have Kyle. Maybe Kyle's the one who requested it. Agent Aguirre. Hmm. Well, if you see your name here, I think Dominic's new, definitely. I haven't seen his name before. Larsena. Ooh, we spent gold on the Rosado 15. Speaking of which, dun dun dun! <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm evil. I've gone evil. It's, uh, it's, this is an apt, you know, people say, Whoa, Biggie, you spent gold on the game, like a Facebook game. <laughs> yeah. I think these guys deserve it. If if I'm spending an hour each day playing a video game, uh, I think they deserve my money. Yeah, but uh, but that's just my justification. You don't have to spend uh, money on 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 uh, playing video games. This is Agent Sig Sighard. Um Yeah, we went for the uh, deploy choice of heroes, I think. But yeah, uh, Foisal. Are you new? I don't know. Okay. Um, who else is here? Uh, Tyler. Tyler, you look new. It's just neither right. Um, uh, basic set of heroes. Very good. It's a good set of heroes. You can't go wrong with the 15 command point heroes, folks. Although, a lot of people... Ex not a lot of people. Just you. Um, who, who are you? You, Antonio. You've been bugging me persistently. Uh... <laughs> to buy he heroes, yeah, and guess what? I just did. And Toby was the first person to actually spot that I bought a new hero. And if you're wondering why it took so long to buy a hero, of course, it's the fact that um, I had to buy uniforms for um, our good friend right here, um, Michael. You should update your picture, Michael, so you're not just blank faced, Laroca. Yeah. Anyways, um, I bought a new hero, and that hero's name is the Hulk. <laughs> yep, that's why I've been taking so long to um, get like to uh, buy a new hero, cause I've farmed straight for the Hulk. I don't want to go for any other hero. And look at this. Um, I'm going to aim for this to go for the um, limited 
Hulk uh, Avengers Alliance uniform, Avengers Assemble uniform. And that's a lot of command points. And that's probably one of the reasons why I bought the gold. Because I'm realizing I'm not going to be able to get the um, spec ops completely done and show you Mockingbird uh, with my current method of, uh, you know, next uh, from next week onward, my, my, um, I'm going to be very busy from now on. So, so uh, just I'm just going to check uh, on my team then and uh, say, actually, no, I'm just, just going to check on my research. You notice I'm level 33 now because I've been farming like crazy. And this is just about the time that I went ahead and collected some of these um, ISO-8s. And which ISO-8s did I research? Um, this is one thing that you need to know first is you research these uh, multicolored ones first. Uh, these, these red, blue, and yellow ones first before you go into the um, other ones like the green ones. And the green ones are pretty good. Uh, the, I only researched the green and the purple ones. Because that's the only one that are necessary for um, getting the chaotic ISO H. I don't know why, why why that choice was for for the game to do that. Because you only need the masterful and spry uh, master two two types of um, ISO H. And I recently just mastered. Um, uh, let me just go to the store. I recently just mastered the powerful ISO H. There we go, the powerful fragment, and I'm going to want this. This is very good. I actually want a ton of these, um, and who I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to, of course, is uh, the Hulk, because um, that's my choice for ISO eight for the Hulk. Powerful gives health and attack, which is what the Hulk is good for. Look at that. And we're gonna, uh, for each time the Hulk levels up, I'm gonna give him ISO 8s. And even so, I've got agents that I need to look at. That Iron Man is already um, bordering. Yeah, he needs to train to get to level nine, uh, which is more where I like stagnate most heroes and have them just stay there, uh, because beyond that, it's just um, for um, ISO 8 slots, which is completely unnecessary. He got all the skills already. Iron Fist at level seven, and he's full at level seven already. Um, and even Black Cat, who I only use for um, um, flight ops, you know, she's she's level four, and the game keeps bothering me. So uh, screw it, you know, it only costs three hundred gold, three hundred silver. Why am I not? I have a ton of of shield points, anyways. And that comes to the questions. Yeah, people have been questioning, "Hey, Biggie, how the hell can you um, um, get Hulk so fast?" And he, yeah, actually, it was a question by Toby, Toby Bartolome. He said, well, how can you get um, the Hulk so fast? Yeah. Well, it's uh, before we go to the, actually, before we go to questions, um, I've come up with a completely different method on playing, actually, on, on playing the game. Because as you can see here, if, you, if, I, if I go to my missions, um, I've three-starred this already. And how I achieve that, of course, is using my um, special ISO8s a little bit more wisely, and what by, by doing what uh, by that I mean, okay, I'm just gonna actually not ten minutes. Um, I spend my ISO8s a little bit more wisely, and by that I mean I'm gonna spend, um, and I uh, this this is what I do for for almost every mission, anyways. Is uh, I send the characters off to spec ops while, while the rest of the characters continue on the, the main mission. Which is, why, which is why they level up so quickly and I get some, a little bit more money. Yeah, and I completely changed my tactics on how, how, to, how to spend these. Because apparently, you don't need to spend 50 ISO-8s to be able to unlock Wrecker. All you need to do is um, fight smart. And by fighting smart, I mean... Um, Actually, a tactician uniform would be nice here. And by fighting smart, I think I'm going to run to... Yeah. And... Okay, let's try this. And who did I randomize and get for my um, points? By fighting smart, I mean... Ooh. Okay. Agent Joseph. 
Oh, that's not a lot of damage. Anyway. And when I say fighting smart, I mean, I, uh, what do I mean? <laughs> I mean, I don't deploy. There we go. That was in the back of my head. Uh, I avoid deploying my agents on uh, one of those little running missions. Because at first I thought it was a good idea to deploy them because they unlock um, missions faster, but um, apparently it's a horrible choice. Ow. Uh, because I'm wasting all those ISO, uh, unstable ISO weights on deploying missions. And. Uh oh, he's getting angry. Hulk is getting very, very angry. And what one thing Hulk is known for is his rage. Yeah. So I'm gonna pop you on. And he's gonna Hulk up. And he's getting enraged. Mockingbird. Mockingbird's an interesting choice. I think we've seen him before. I'm gonna make record do it. Oh, that was stupid. I should have, uh, cause she's, um... She's a tact tactician at the moment. I should have had her attack someone else. Okay. And oh, rat -tat, tat everyone. And I'll use my healing items. There you go. Thanks for all the restoration packs, everyone. So, um, I'll let you know they're very useful. Oh dear, but she is strengthening up, which is good. I want her to strengthen up, but um, I'm afraid yeah. she's going to switch over to ta Tactician. But Hulk's getting angry. She's getting, she, he, he's getting very angry. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to lose Mockingbird next turn, aren't I? But I could do this. <laughs> He's enraged! Ah, bye bye, Mockingbird. Um, ooh, command point! Yeah, and I'm going to do this. Restore myself. Yeah, and restore the Hulk. I should have had the Hulk use a restoration um, pack. I didn't know what I was thinking. Mm, I'm getting very angry. Hulk up. <laughs> I don't have. I don't think we're gonna have any more damage troubles with the Hulk. Hulking up. Look at that. Oh. Um. Oh no, there's not enough damage. What should I do? I don't have any stamina. Nah. Bomb. <laughs> yeah, that was a poor choice anyways of, of letting um, her die because that really affects um, the, 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 the skill. But then the overkill is nice. Boss multiplier is nice. But that's probably why my health is leveling up so quickly. And I still want you, Lieutenant Crowbar. Please, let me have you. Let me have you. Be a nice boy. And, ah, so close. Yeah. Man, that didn't feel good. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, no deploys. It's a completely new strategy. Yeah. And it nets quite a lot of score. And I only use five is um, um, unstable isolates. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Uh, actually, there's a couple more questions from, from my fans. And uh, he's saying, um, what heroes should you recruit? Yeah, that's one thing. Actually, it was uh, posted by Chris Bryant, who, who said, uh, who, who, thank you um, for the wonderful farming method. And um, he said, okay, which heroes should I get? And he was saying, uh, and basically, um, well, first things first. I think we should. It uh, needs to be said that in this mission, 
there is a, sec a secret epic boss. Yeah, you heard me right. Secret epic boss. If you wish to fight the secret epic boss for his secret epic loot, then you need to get... Um, uh, what's her name? Spider Woman. Because you need to deploy her. Yeah. And you need 30, 33 uh, command points for that. I might get her eventually. Um, so to get Spider Woman. But she is so so. Yeah. As, as far as heroes go. And he said, and actually, my first choice, of course, for any, for the hero to pick is actually Hulk. And why Hulk is because when I play as Hulk, I'm gonna go to my flight. Uh, I'm gonna go to my, uh, uh, actually, not my, not Hell's Kitchen. Uh, when you unlock Hulk, you unlock this first premium mission, yeah? And by unlocking this premium mission, what happens is um, you have a chance, yeah, to get um, not not the pulse. Um, oh wait, that's pretty much it. Uh, the to get the gold needle gun. It's not a good weapon. It's not a very good weapon. So you might want to skip it. But the uh, the epic boss and the boss here actually drops. Uh, a gamma booster, which that is very good. So if you want to just farm to get to the boss and get uh, the item, it's very good. Do the uni uni pulse actually is very good. EMP blaster is even better against uh, machine types. And over here, uh, the second hero I would recommend, of course, is Spidey. Yeah. Uh, so that's a lot. I know it's a lot of command points to farm up, but then if you're not uh, the thing about it is people are starting to get smart about how to spend their command points so they're buying less heroes but event so but you in, in opportune time the spec ops showed up so that's probably why i had to uh, you know make a change of plans um uh what else okay so back to what what heroes are good so first things first uh of course i'd recommend getting hulk and Spider-Man, where is he? Spider-Man, yeah. Hulk and Spider-Man are the best level 90 ones, yeah. There's a question by Brian Collins, Collins which level uh, at 90 CP ones, 90 command point heroes. Yep, definitely Spider-Man. Spider-Man is uber beyond belief. He has a, um, a passive called Great Responsibility, which has a chance to protect an ally from um, oncoming attacks, including AOE attacks. I mean, if you look at his stacks, look at his evasion. Yeah, he blocks every attack and evades it. I don't know how it works, okay? But he blocks everything and then he just evades. You know, so classic Spider-Man is very much the character to. The, the, he's he's a wonderful off tank. Yeah, to to like reduce all that damage, um, and since he's also an infiltrator, he. he and one thing about Spider-Man, yeah, there is a Spider-Man movie coming up, and I say. There's very little chance that he's going to be here and not have a special uni uniform come up. So I guess in a couple of months, he's going to have a special uniform. I'm, I'm just, I'm just uh, sure that that will happen. Yeah. So Spider-Man is probably my second re recommendation for f two reasons. First off, if you look at the mission the list, y he unlocks the premium mission over here. And if you deploy him, which mission is it? Uh, not this one. Um, at mission 3-5, there we go. If you deploy him here, uh, Dr. Doom will show up as an epic boss. So I really, really, really recommend it. And Dr. Doom drops a very, very good um, item. He drops uh, an item called Doombringer. Which is basically the same. Uh, it drains an opponent's stat and it stacks infinitely. So, actually, that's one very interesting. Th um, there's a guide on on uh, the Playdom forums that actually says how you could uh, basically get like get us like. Um, let me just look at the guide. I think. Um, well, there is a very good special uh, special operations guide. 
So we'll, we'll, we'll detour through that. And basically they will say, fight the minute Pumum, do not deploy, go from the high and medium level threats first, and then you could abort and restart missions to change the type of threats you see at the start of missions if you want, and then you choose your battles, which one has, uh, which one's easier to handle, or uh, and actually take your time. So you have the time limit, there's no time to try such five star all missions as soon as possible, story and stable ISO H, you gain from battles gifts and use them as a later time so I'm planning to do that and basically um, you could look at the play on forums for, for the particular link but this is actually very useful so um, but what I'm actually looking for is if I look at the Marvel Adventures Alliance uh, forums um, is a guide where was I on which heroes to pick so actually it's tribute in tutorials and guides um, was I on that? Yeah. So, uh, not heroes. Demo. Suggested heroes to buy. Here we go. I think that's that's one of them. Yeah. So Hulk, Spidey, Wolverine. Wolverine's okay, but it's not uh, the the best 90 CP. It's probably one of the worst 90 CP ones. Um, and War Machine has a chance to give you Super Blade Punch for on one of the other levels. Uh, Phoenix is very very good. Um, the Phoenix and Human Torch are so-so, actually. So-so blasters. Black Cat, Storm, and Luke Cage. Deploying these guys will have a chance to tur turn in an epic boss. Um, one one actually is missing is that um, Spider-Man. He has a chance to actually uh, yeah, unlock epic boss chapter 3.5 and 7.3. Doombringer and the Galvanic Arm. You know, all the good stuff. And this is the recommended he list of um, heroes. So if you want to see which heroes they are, just pause here and then you go on to look at those things. Actually, I was on another topic, wasn't I? I was on a topic of... Um, actually, I'm just going to send my heroes on a Spec Ops mission. Which topic was I on? Um, which heroes was good? Yeah. So actually, so maybe just, just that one, I guess. And um, I'll answer any other ones. If you have any questions, just post them below. Um, you know, which blasters, um, these are the best blasters. These are the best bruisers. <laughs> Look at that. Thor and Hulk. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, Scrappers. Um, Wolverine, I don't think he's actually that good, but that's, uh, you know, up to people. No, Spidey, uh, Kitty Pride, uh, the Invisible Woman, and Captain America. War Machine. War Machine is one of the very, um, one of the very good ones. And you know, as you notice, like the the level 15 ones are actually quite uh, good. There's no, you don't waste any too much right here. Um, so yeah, I think. Oh yes, I was talking about a guide to um, five star all the to, to like um, get the highest possible sco score. I think it's this one. Yep, there we go. So what happens is you need either need the Doombringer uh, or Iron Fist Level Four Skill Heart of Sholal. Yeah, uh, this this one's actually harder, a lot harder, because what happens is um, this thing is uh, uh, is, is, is it doesn't actually reduce your opponent's stats. But anyways, um, you can use the Doombringer and some healing items. Shows Doombringer some healing items. Uh, this thing, which is a uh, very high level uh, item, yeah, um, and one attack unit, and he just sits there and just stacks up um, the, the 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 doom over and over and over and over. So his his stats are ridiculous, you know. That's not 140. That's 1,400 plus. Yeah, all stacks are full of doom. All stats increased. So <laughs> yeah, so it's like um, he just did there, and he just. Look at that, the damage of, of his uh, attack. He just goes and epic overkills everything. <laughs> goes boom, boom, and he crits all the way and he gets um, all these bonuses, especially the one shot bonus. And he gets the overkill bonus. Uh, and he also deploys both of these. Um, notice they don't use the uh, assemble uniforms because the, the, um, it might accidentally like tie in your opponents and have them th run in on the action as well but yeah that's pretty much it and look at that the mission score for each time he, he actually scores this is 3,900 <laughs> th no 391,000 
you know, the mission score. And he does this and he just goes, whoosh, you know, and he goes second time, you know, he goes like basically one star per, per go like that. And you can see why it's very, very, uh, look at that. It's, it's very, very uber, but he actually um, gets the epic weapon anyways. But then, yeah, as he, as he said, one gold for three um, un unstable ISOs, eight, you know, it's uh, very unfair. But yeah, pretty much that's how uh, you go about at it. Um, yeah, this is still kind of a supplemental, like, guidey episode today. I don't know why, what, what's up with that, but yeah, actually, I have some more ISO 8, uh, some more of this left. I'm just going to go ahead and do some more spec ops and get some more of these command points, trying to get, try to get um, uh, command points for Hulk. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, for, you know, for Hulk special uniform anyways. But that's pretty much it for now. It's me, I'm Biggie, and I'll be back in a bit. Uh, evil. <laughs> See you guys. Any more? Oh, 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 yes. Any more questions, post them below and I'll attempt to answer them. And of course, we're on a once a week basis now and, until the spec ops are over anyways. So, yeah. I'm not sure which day of the, day of the week I'm going to update, but it's probably going to be Friday. And it's me, I'm Miggy, and I'll be back. See you guys in a bit.